Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Kali Linux on your Android phone. First, head to your browser and open eTechBox link. I'll provide this link in the video description. Now scroll down and under step 1 you will see the link to download Temox. Click on the link and download Temox from here. Next, we are going to search for NetHunter Store on our browser. So just type in NetHunter Store. Now click on the link to store.nethunter.com. Now switch your phone to landscape mode, else you will struggle with clicking on the download button. Now download Store app. Now after downloading, we can install both of them. Now open NetHunter store. And search for Kex. And you should see NetHunter Kex. Now install. Click on settings. And allow from this source. Head back and then we can proceed with the installation. Now let's head back and here we go. So we have Temox, NetHunter Store and NetHunter Kex. Now let's open Temox. Okay, so we're going to run the first command to set up storage permission and the command is temox-setup-storage and then hit enter, click allow to grant permission. Next we are going to change temox repository, so type in temox-change-repo and then hit enter. Now hit enter to select the main repository and then choose mirrors by Arbatros. Hit enter and it should take about a minute or two to update the packages. Now run pkg update dash y and twice pkg upgrade dash y. Just type it exactly as seen on the screen. and hit enter. Now this is going to update and upgrade all our packages so it may take a while. If you get any prompts like this, just enter Y for yes and hit enter and the process is complete. Now let's clear everything on our page and then run pkg install wget. Now wget is the package we are going to use to install NetHunter Kali. Y for yes, hit enter. Now let's head back to eTechBox blog. So let's just go back. And here you go. Under step 2, you're going to see install Kali NetHunter. And you can see Kali Linux full, minima, and nano. We are going with the full install, so just copy the command. Head back to Termox. We are going to paste it there and hit enter okay so we now have the file now let's type in ls and hit enter and you should see your file there now we want to make this file executable so let's run chmod plus x and then our file name which is install-nethunter-foo and hit enter now if you type in ls again you can see the file color has changed to green meaning it is executable so now we are going to run dot slash and then the name of the file in this case it is install dash nethunter dash foo hit enter and it should start downloading the file now this is going to take a while to download since the file size is quite large it all depends on your network but you just have to wait so the download is complete and it is now extracting the file 
now we're going to delete the root fs file so type in y for yes and hit enter all right now we're going to run nethunter kex password type it exactly as seen and from here we can set the password which we are going to use to access kali linux nethunter now type in your password it is not going to be visible on the screen but it is taking note of it and verify the password as well no hit enter now we're going to type in nethunter kex and and then this is going to run kali linux nethunter nethunter kex and then and hit enter and it is going to start vnc and you're going to get a port number so you can see on your screen rofb port 5901 that is mine so we're going to head back and then open nethunter kex we downloaded earlier so first we're going to enter the port number you can see 5900 there which we are going to change to 5901 which is our port number next we are going to enter our password which we imputed earlier and then done now we're just going to click on connect and that's all from here you can access all kali linux programs and do whatever you want to do on kali linux from your android phone now to stop kali linux from running simply head back to temox and then type in nethunter kex stop and this is going to key the vnc if this was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one